<laughs> and when we come back, I'll do some garlic bread with it. What do we eat it with? <laughs> a spoon. <laughs> Are you saying that we'll put our children on the swing set and then kick them off and roll them down the hill? If you put them here, they'll be at 45 degrees. <laughs> like this. In terms of division of labour, I've definitely done most of the physical work in this mission. I'm the brains of the operation. <laughs> Welcome to the Littlest Chateau. Built in the 18th century on the top of a valley overlooking a small village in the southwest of France. This is Paul and I'm Helen and we've got two children and three cats we moved to France in the middle of the chaos of 2020 to follow our dream of living in a French chateau. Come join us at the start of our journey as we share the beauty of this forgotten building and follow our progress as we restore it back to what it once was. One job that we're going to be doing now is putting up a swing and slide set for our little boy. He's four years old and he's in that transition period of starting to get himself to sleep. We always used to sing and cuddle him to sleep, but he's getting that little bit bigger and wanting to get himself to sleep, but not quite getting there yet. So we've had a real struggle um, over the past few weeks, few months, in fact of him still needing to be cuddled, still needing to be sung to, but going to bed at seven and us being in the room with him until about half past nine some nights, on the worst nights. And there've been tears on both sides. He's been overtired and frustrated. We've been frustrated and we know that he can get himself to sleep because there've been nights when he's done it before, but not consistently. So we came up with a plan we put together a tick chart for him and we said to him, if you can earn this many ticks on your tick chart, then we will put your swing and slide set up for you. He knew that we had it, but he knew that there were other jobs that we had to do in the house first. But we said, if you can get your ticks, we'll do it straight away for you. And he did it and he's managed it and he's still managing it, which is great. We've had a few blips here and there, but he got his ticks and he's doing really well. So now we're gonna put the swing and slide set up for him and he's gonna be really, really thrilled. What are we doing? Well, uh, we've got the digger ready all through, and there's some chainsaws, various different types of chainsaw, all prepared. We're just loading them into the trailer. Oh my, we need those? Yeah, because there's a tree oh. in the way of where this swing set needs to go. Uh, so I gathered these things. I think I did a good job. I followed my picture and I got the things we need. No, you're not going in. You're not going in. No, you're not. OK. <laughs> good. <laughs> and now we've got a cat to help us as well. Yeah, it's probably best to get out of there, Pooh. No. No, I don't think so. This is the heaviest bit, this stuff, and then we're good after that. It is in the way. Let's just go. <laughs> Why wouldn't we? I tire of this conversation. Are you going to pick it up at the end or in the middle? <laughs> Are you deaf capes or what? What the hell? Pick it at the end, woman. You've got the whole thing. <laughs> You can just knock your back. <laughs> just get it through the door. I'm basically doing nothing. <laughs> oh. right, okay, here we go. There we are. <laughs> Yay! It's oh no, it's oh no, it's just long enough. Good. <laughs> Thank you. 
We've got a property that is at the top of a valley and all of our land is pretty hilly. So we see loads and loads of other chateau owners on YouTube and on different chateau shows who have these beautiful flat Cafuord gardens where they can put up play sets for children, dining areas, all sorts of amazing things. And the digger has to come down with us because we actually have to make a flat area first and get rid of some overgrown foliage before we can put the swing set up. Here comes the arrival of the slide. We made it. We made it. No one died. <laughs> that, that, would have, that would have been intense. No, no <laughs> tipping, no crashing. At five miles an hour, that would have been a really, really poor outcome. Yeah. So everything's here. The tree that's got to go, it's more like a weed, actually. It's, uh, it's a cherry plum uh, tree, and they just grow like weeds. We've got hundreds of them all the way along here. This is right in the way of where the swing set wants to go so see i wanted the swing set to go over here but i've been vetoed because apparently that's too slopey to deal with yeah let's just have a look look i'm going to use this physics experiment here oh, commonly here known go. as a ball just to demonstrate <laughs> the problem with where you want this where do you want the swing set uh kind of keep going keep going yeah kind of there there <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> Are you saying that we'll put our children on the swing set and then kick them off and roll them down the hill? If you put them here, they'll be at 45 degrees. <laughs> be like this. <laughs> With this area, you've got an entire tree to cut down, the yeah. stump to remove, all of that clearing to do. Huh? 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 It, it, yeah, but it's, <laughs> it's flat and this tree is uh, stupid anyway. I hate it. <laughs> I'm just trying to uh, oh, get rid of as many of these big upright branches as possible so that I can drag the fat bit over to where we've got everything else. We wanted to share some of our favourite recipes with you for lunch times at the Chateau. Chickpea curry. Chickpea curry is on today's menu. Dice up one red or brown onion and add one clove of garlic. You can add more to taste. Add your onion into a pan with about a tablespoon of olive oil and let it fry gently so that it softens. Part way through, crush in your garlic And then add to this a generous tablespoon of medium curry powder or balti powder if you're in France, a teaspoon each of coriander, ginger and cumin, you can use ground or cumin seeds. Add in about a teaspoon of salt, you can add more or less to taste and give everything a really good stir to coat the onion and garlic in the spice mix. Toss in your chickpeas from a 400 gram tin which have been drained and washed. And again, give them a really good stir in the pan to coat everything in the spice mix. Add one tin of chopped tomatoes and 200 mils of black tea. You can see here I'm using the tea to rinse out the rest of the tomato juice. Mm. 
Finally, add one squeeze of lemon to add some sharpness to the dish. Give everything a good stir and leave to simmer for around an hour. Can't hear you. What do we eat it with? <laughs> a spoon. <laughs> We have this chickpea curry with garlic bread and here's my homemade recipe. I take about 15 grams of butter and one clove of garlic that I crush in and I then mash them together. I don't tend to melt my butter beforehand because I get better flavour, I think, from fridge cold butter. And I add about a quarter of a teaspoon of salt because I use unsalted butter. I then take a demi baguette that I've part baked in the oven and slice all the way down evenly but not all the way through because each of those gaps will be filled with the garlic butter. Once it's sliced you can put an equal amount of the butter into each of the gaps This is the kind of recipe that you can make for a whole baguette if you want, or reduce down for whatever is to your taste. And of course, add more garlic or less garlic. I wrap my baguette up in a little foil nest. Because it's already been baked, I don't want it to bake anymore. So I keep the top open to crisp it, but I put it into an oven that only has the fan running, but has been set to around 200 to warm up with the temperature then turned off. And that sits in there for about five minutes just to melt the butter. So I would say that this makes really generous portions for two, possibly a side dish for a family. We tend to have the whole lot because it's really good, it's really healthy. And there you have it. Chickpea curry with homemade garlic bread, mango chutney, lime pickle, and Greek yogurt. We're now going to try and dig up the stump uh, because uh, the reason for that is I've noticed over here there is in fact another um, cherry plum tree which is a, as I said before it's a weed um, that the previous owners had sawn off I don't know if you can make that out there but there's a sawn off trunk there and what's just happened is it's just sprung back up again and in fact they never got around to clearing it because that's been sat there for ages since we've had the, the house probably years before that so i'm going to try and dig this up which is going to be fun having never done anything like this before um, i'm utterly confident it will go without floor i've just noticed something amusing happening over, over here you unhook hooking the trailer for me yeah. <laughs> Am I well, doing a bad thing? Well, the only thing I was thinking is it is on a bit of a slope. So I know that. <laughs> I'm not I'm not entirely without merit here. Probably what I'll, uh, I'll do but... is, is go down this end for you and stop it from rolling down the hill. That would be helpful. <laughs> that would be helpful. Oh my goodness, I can't even lift it. Use the wheel. Oops. Hold on. Oh, nope, that's not coming for me. I'll try uh, we turning it. No, is it, is it you, you holding it in place there? I've got hold of it, yeah. If you let go, it rolls? No. Good. Yeah, we're good. We're good. It's not on much of a slope anyway. No, it's fine. Honestly, I'm not sure what's happening now. Some alignment or other. Ooh. Oh, action, action is happening all at once. Ooh. 
very very carefully arranged into position and said oh, it's not too bad a slope it's fine it's not gonna roll is now over there <laughs> carry on dig up your stump <clears throat> And now the inaugural hammering of the tree stump. <laughs> because it's extraordinarily heavy. Uh, most of that, that weight is going to be in the soil, so. Yeah, there's that loads. seems to be a reasonable way to get rid of it. Might need to employ a reasonable fork. for you. <laughs> it's easy for me, yeah. Yeah, I'm, you're just sat watching. I'm just sat, and, sat up here in the safety of the digger, metering out commands. planning to do here then? I guess fill it back oh. in and bulldoze it over? Uh, just sort of flatten the area out a little bit, fill it back in, yeah, and then just sort of generally try and level this ground. Huh. In terms of division of labour, I've definitely done most of the physical work <laughs> in this mission. I'm the brains of the operation, <laughs> clearly. I don't know if I agree with that. So we just called a brief halt to uh, proceedings because uh, I was merrily digging away, just flattening an area down when I realised we didn't actually measure it out. So we have no idea what size it's supposed to be. So uh, we're going to get some stakes, hammer those into the ground the right distance apart, and that will be a lot better. So, so we've got our uh, measuring stakes and we've got our piece of string, have we? String. We've got some string. And scissors. And we now need to make it square, which is the best part, because you can measure it as much as you like. But if it isn't square, you're going to end up with a very crooked area. So employing some Pythagoras, I think we need to measure the diagonals. Uh, and I've come out at 5.06 or something. So let's, see if, that, at me for help. let's see if that works. <laughs> So we have to diagonally measure 5.06 across. Is that yeah. what you're saying? From this, from this stick to that stick, it should be 5.06. Oh, okay. I absolutely hate doing that job. There must be a better way than using just Pythagoras. If you know of a better way to make some uh, a, a measurement on the ground square, uh, please let us know in the comments. I'm sure that'll be super useful next time. So after we measured it out, we realised our piece of string wasn't long enough, so we had to go and get another <laughs> bunch of string. Hopefully now... Yeah, we're good. It's good. I now declare this digging site open. <laughs> we realised that uh, after very carefully measuring this out, that we actually need, I actually need to get in here with the digger so that I can level it. So. Yeah. That goes in the door. There oh well, go. you'll just have to make sure you don't run over the stakes. Yeah, they're probably going to get dug up as well. <laughs> 
all that Pythagoras and for nothing. <laughs> He'll be rolling in his grave, bless him. We hope you enjoyed watching this video. If you'd like to see more, please like and subscribe.